Hi, I'm Gervais. And I'm Morton. And we're here today to show you an exciting new product that can convey data, power, and video over USB Type-C. Morton, what do we have today to show everyone? Have a look at this, Gervais. Wow, this is a nice smartphone. What is it? It's a Huawei Mate 10 with a Kirin 970 processor. Well, it looks really nice. It's got a single Type-C connector on it. That's all you need. This is a beautiful screen, but you know, it'd be nice to be able to show the audience what the phone is displaying. Let's connect up this monitor. Oh, what do we have here? Um, nice thin monitor, single Type-C receptacle on it. As I said, it. that's all you need. Well, you know, hold on to this one sec. I just happen to have a Type-C cable. And the nice thing about Type-C is I don't have to worry about the orientation. Indeed. So, we've got the monitor hooked up and now the phone. And let's see what happens. Let's, ah, the monitor is starting up. We've got the, the image. And you've got the desktop. Desktop there. Yep. Very nice. And single cable. Yep, the phone is powering the monitor for a couple of hours. That's great. What other types of features can this phone do with the Type-C connector? Well, if you want to connect to a projector or a display port monitor or a TV set, you can use one of these adapters. Or if you want to have a mini docking station in your office, you can use this adapter. That's great. When working in the office, this might be a better adapter choice. This has a display output and a Type-C power input, allowing you to charge your phone while working on your desktop. Who makes that adapter? This is designed by Apple and it was launched together with the first MacBook with Type-C almost three years ago. Looks like it's working fine on this phone today. So what we see on the screen, on the phone, is what we see on the monitor. Yep, although <coughs> for working on a desktop, a desktop view is perhaps more useful than the phone view. So look, now we've got the desktop view. I can use the phone as a touchpad for you, driving the mouse around the you screen. You know, Warren, I've got a Bluetooth mouse here. Why don't ah. you try that instead? That might be a little bit easier. Oh yeah, that was much better. I can open the Chrome browser. Um, what website are you browsing uh, right now? It's a Norwegian technology website that I visit every now and then. You know, I can't read Norwegian. Uh, can you bring up a different language website so that I might I'll be just able get to read virtual instead? keyboard up and running. Well, instead of virtual keyboard, we also happen to have a Bluetooth keyboard. Let's see if that works with this phone. Oh, yeah. great. It worked. So it's now great. by adding the keyboard to this environment, it's something that's much more convenient. So should we know I'm checking out some files on this system and I need to go get back on the browsing. Well, while you're doing that, Morin, simultaneously, I'm going to use Google Maps to go check the traffic. You know, should we, we're actually sharing this single phone. I think we should get you your own phone. I think that's a great idea, Morton. We have another gem demo here today. So this adapter plugs in just like the other one. I see you've got connected a USB thumb drive, um, probably a receiver for the keyboard and mouse all at the same time. Correct. Um, with this setup, I can access files on the thumb drive and use the USB keyboard and mouse and free up the Bluetooth connection for a Bluetooth headset so you can continue phone calls. So if you're working in this like desktop environment, also safe to assume you can connect a USB network adapter to be able to access the corporate network? Certainly you can. 
So USB Type-C moves data, video, audio and power all at the same time on the single connector, as we have shown today. So in this kind of office environment setup, after you're done at the end of the day, you unplug everything and you have a fully charged phone. Yes, you do.